Good morning, adventurers. We just came out this morning to grab some breakfast. We came back to the same spot I think we were at in the other vlog, right? Yeah. Five Sons. But if you come to CM Reef, come to this place because it has the best breakfast that we've found so far, yeah, at least on this street. we tried quite a few places, but this one you get the biggest portion for the most bang for your buck, I guess. Yeah, and it's pretty dang tasty. And the people are so freaking nice They're here. They're so nice. They give you all kinds of recommendations for stuff to do. And yeah. It's really cool. But the plan today is to rent some bikes and to bike to a lake that's nearby. You guys, it's hot out there. Oh my God, I am sweating. <laughs> oh yeah, Whew. sweating good. I don't know why I ever think I should wear my hair down. It's just like a sweat factory in there. Uh -oh. Who's out there? Little Martin? <laughs> you found us. Little Kitty Martin? Yeah. Just hey, buddy. Leaf. He's pretty ferocious. Quit being so dang cute, little guy. The place we're staying at is called the Orientation Lodge. And uh, we saw some bikes up front that we're going to see if we can borrow. All right, there they are. They look pretty decent. Yeah. I think they'll do the trick. So we ended up waiting until about 3.30 to head out. So the sun's a bit lower in the sky and it is so much nicer out here. That was a good call because we were dying earlier. Nailed it, kind of. There's a market over here on the right, and it looks just insanely delicious. I can smell all the uh, cooking meats emanating from it. <laughs> Taking everything I have not to stop and eat it. So we are now out of the main city into kind of the suburbs and the farmland. The road is getting a lot rougher. <laughs> But it's pretty beautiful. We got a cow crossing. <laughs> you guys, we ran into a traffic jam. It was a herd of cows, and here comes a giant herd of goats. <laughs> what? Oh my god. This is amazing. That's great. Hey, hey buddy. So we've made it to the town of Phnom Krom, which is this tiny little town. They have this big old market in the square going on right now. There's a lot of stuff going on around here. The cutest little kids just roaming everywhere. There's this uh, walkway that goes up to this mountain that's right near the city. It's uh, it does, was there really a name for the mountain? There's a temple at the top of it called... Uh, it's just Temple Phnom Krom. Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah. But it says it's one of the uh, less popular temples. Um, so it should be a little bit less touristy. Still a little bit touristy, I guess. Yeah. But uh, there's this awesome snake-like walkway up to the top of it. Yes, there's also a road. So if you drive out here, you can drive up. You don't have to do it. But we read that you have to pay to do that because um, you're technically supposed to have an Angkor Wat Pass. We don't yet. Yeah. So we're going to see how far we can get. But there's supposed to be, obviously, a very awesome view of the sunset oh, if yeah. you can get up there. This is already looking insane, you yeah. guys. These are some uh, proper mountain goats here. They're just like scaling this cliff face over here. He's taking a nap on the edge there? Yeah, check oh that guy out. Gosh. That's pretty neat. What if he has a You guys, I am sweating like a crazy person. I feel like you guys aren't sweating near as much no, as, really as, much as I am. Oh, look at this, literally running down my body. <laughs> I'm soaked at this point. Yeah. But check it out, a little update. So typically, 
I think you already mentioned, but you're supposed to have an Angkor Wat ticket in order to get up here. We thought we could get up and see the sunset at least without having it. We thought you just needed that to go to the temple. But we got up here and the guy was like, oh, you have to have your Angkor Wat pass. So we ended up having to just pay him off with a few dollars each and he let us come up here anyway. But don't tell anybody about it. Yeah, but you can do that if you come here. But it was really funny because Nikita had the money. He just kind of walked up to the guy and went, <laughs> this is great. So this village behind behind us is a combination of uh, houses on stilts and also actual floating houses that they can relocate based on the water dispersion. So what you see right now, the com composition of this village is not static. They'll actually move the houses around based on which parts of this area floods, which is pretty cool. So we've randomly stumbled onto a Buddhist temple. Uh, we weren't sure if we were allowed to go in because sometimes you have to be like covering your shoulders and stuff and no one seems to mind. There's a lot of little kids swarming us, which we're being very cautious about. <laughs> and there's a gigantic pig over there, you guys. But I think we're on the way to the sunset spot. Yeah, they told us, we asked them and they said it was up here. to expect but these rooms are pretty incredible they're all like uh, held up with all this wood and there's wire wrapped around them so I'm guessing they're very old and very fragile yeah they, I don't know. it looks like the set of like Indiana Jones or something and I can't imagine that this was once like a functioning temple I thought this was amazing back in the day up on this hill you can see so far and I bet this was like really ornate, so neat. South of us is the Tonle Sap River, and it is the largest freshwater lake in all of Southeast Asia, which is insane. It fluctuates um, in size based on the season. So during the rainiest part of the rainy season, it can get up to 6,200 square miles. And during, I guess, the driest part of the dry season, it can be as small as 1,000 square miles. And I thought it was really interesting that the deepest part of it is about 33 feet, and the smallest part, the average depth actually, is 3.3 feet. So on average, it's just three feet deep. So it's like this huge lake, but it's so little. We're back at our charming little casa. We've been just chilling in bed, having a couple brewskis yep. and planning some upcoming travel. But uh, that was an amazing ride. That was so fun. Although you guys, the if you do this ride, know a few things. The roads are really congested, so it's a little bit nerve wracking. A lot of people honking, zipping by you, mm. cars and buses and motorcycles, like just going everywhere. Yeah, and unfortunately they didn't have any helmets for us. Typically yeah. we would try to take helmets if we can, but they just didn't have any. We really wanted to ride the bikes out there instead of just getting a tuk-tuk, you know? Yeah. Um, so we had to take the chance, but typically but, you probably want to make sure you have a helmet on because yeah. these streets are extremely dangerous. They are. Can I just tell you guys, today gave me a new respect for Cambodia because I didn't really realize how beautiful this country actually is. Because when we did the bus ride, we didn't get to see that much because we were going through all the villages and your view kind of gets blocked. Mm -hmm. But going up on that mountainside and seeing the, the uh, town that was kind of partially flooded and then seeing the lake off in the distance, but then seeing how it's kind of flooded into the surrounding area and having that sunset, it was just solid, you know. It was I really enjoyed it. Very cool. And that temple. Yeah, the temple was was awesome, I mean, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. So we're we're going to see Angkor Wat and a bunch of other temples um, in the complex tomorrow. But I don't know. Being our first little taste of it, it was very cool. It's making us very excited. So maybe if you've already been, <laughs> you'll go up there and be like, well, the ruins aren't as cool as some of the other temples we've seen but yeah. the view it's i think the biggest and only hill in the area yeah it really that hill they call it a mountain but it just yeah. sticks out because it's the only one in the area so when you go up there everything else is just completely flat but it's very cool anyways like we mentioned tomorrow we are going to be visiting anchor wat um and this, all, all the different other temples in the anchor complex yeah we haven't quite decided um, or else we would 
Yeah, we're not sure exactly. We know we're going to see Anchor Wat, but we're not sure what else we're going to get to see in the day because it takes like three days to really see it all. And we're just going to have the one day. We're going to have a Tuk Tuk. He's going to take us around. It's going to be really cool. So make sure you don't miss that video. But I think that's it. We've actually, check this out, you guys. We found a new TV show, American Crime Story, The People vs. O.J. Simpson. Somebody recommended this to me, but I can't for the life of me remember who it was. But we've watched one episode, and it's pretty good. It's got like a Narcos vibe to it. And we finished yeah. Narcos, so we need something else now to we're watch. Looking, yeah, we do like one show at a time. So this is the one. So we're trying to be good and just watch one a night. I also took a quick dip in the pool. So if you guys are wondering why my hair uh, doesn't look it's like it normally beautiful. does. <laughs> look how cute this is. This is how he used to do his hair, you guys. Is that it? Is that yeah. all we're doing? That's all. All right. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.